Okay. But you're seeing there's my hair. <laughs> okay. So, hello again. My name is Emma and welcome to Tea Time Tuesday. Ah, another glorious week. Yay. <laughs> anyway, we are at um, trying to begin to start a new book which I introduced last week and it was called uh, Napoli in Love. Now this was a strange one because I did read the back and supposedly this was a more this seems to be more like a love triangle kind of situation. So we're gonna see where this one leads. I really I think I only read like half of the first chapter, but that was about it. Um, I am still, I did read a chapter of um, Gambling for the Duke's uh, Daughter. Now I can't, I can't show you um, the picture because every time I try to get to the picture, it's kind of hard it's kind of hard to see and I just get to the words. So instead of trying to go back and try to find the picture, you know, it's like, it, uh, it's, it's just confusing for me still because I'm still trying to figure out how to, I've had this Kindle for a while, but I'm still trying to navigate um, how to get to my library because at first I was like last night, I go, well, let, let me catch up a little bit because I haven't read you know, the last time I was reading uh, Gambling for the Duke's Daughter, um, they, the, the father had caught Dylan and um, Natalia on the ground garden. And they had wanted to meet there. They had wanted to. So she kind of like made up a story that she wasn't feeling well and that, you know, she had to go upstairs to her room. And then with that, she slipped away to meet Dylan um, at the, um, in the gardens. So when the father uh, came out and he saw her, you know, with, with, well, with them together, Dylan and Natalia, he got upset and he started, you know, arguing with them, um, with Dylan. And, um, so he was like one of the, you know, the soldiers and, um, they ended up in, in a scuffle and, and well, the father ended up punching or trying to punch Dylan and he ended up hitting his daughter instead, knocking her down and she, her head hit a rock. It was bleeding, but not that much, but, um, uh, finally, Michael, Dylan's brother, because they're the Blake brothers, um, he came out and he helped Natalia up and then he got mad with his brother um, for having to interfere with, with what would have been his future wife, wife, who was Natalia, because he had felt that he almost had her hand in marriage if it wasn't for the interference of Dylan. Um, but after he got Natalia up and everything and, you know, she was trying to defend him and, you know, cause you know, he was said, don't go near my, my daughter again, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, no, I'm in love with her. And then she gets up and she, you know, says she's in love with him too. And so he goes, oh, the father goes, oh, you have no idea what you're talking about. This whole thing about you guys being together was all over a bet. And he was supposed to get like 200 pounds, whatever, how much that is, uh, for, um, with a friend. His name was John. And if he would have taken two or had two dances with her, then he would have gotten the 200 pounds. But he never got to get the second dance. It was just the first dance that he was able to get out of her. But then when she found out that the whole, this whole thing was over a bet, she got highly upset. And she was like, well, so you're, you're just like the other. You just wanted to, you know, 
use me. He goes, no, if that was true, I would have went for another girl. I forgot her name. I would have went after her because she has more than you. And uh, I go, no. He, she goes, uh, Natalia goes, no, you were after not only my money, but you were after my dowry too, which was supposed to be like an inheritance. I guess that's when he said no, because if that was true, I would have went to her, and she has more than you, and uh, something like that. So she ended up um, going back to the house with, with her dad, and um, he, he like, really didn't want nothing to say to her. You know, he was upset with her uh, for sneaking out in the first place. And so she finally went up to her room uh, very quietly, not saying not a word. But in the gardens, you know, um, who do you call it? Michael was left alone with Dylan. And he already has seen, Dylan had already seen the disappointment in Michael's face. And he was like, I really hate what you just did. You just ruined me. Because he was looking to um, get married too so he could be financially fit as well. Because the, Blakes, the Blake brothers and the father, they were running out of money. So they were trying to figure out how they were going to bring money back into their lives, which was the only way back then was to marry somebody wealthy. Not that they really were in love with them. It was just, it was a, it was more out of, out of financial business gain than, than anything else. And he goes, nah, you know, you just lost my chance of marrying Natalia. And now I have to marry this other girl who I don't like at all. And now I'm forced to be with her. And, uh, which is sad. <laughs> but, uh, that, that's where I'm at right now. And, Dylan, you know, was like, I'm sorry, all this has happened. And he goes, I'll just stay away and um, I'll never interfere again. He goes, yes, do that. Go, go far away and don't ever come back. You know, because he felt like you just ruined everything. So after um, Natalia went up to her house and went up to her bedroom, the stepmother, and she seems to pretty pretty young stepmother stepmom. She said, "If if I would have known that you had an interest in the, one of the Blake brothers, I would have never invited them." And um, she goes, "You should have told me that you you had a liking for one of them. I would never have told him to come." Uh, because evidently the the mom was kind of in cahoots with the father to marry off Natalia to some foreign prince. And, um, but Natalia was like, no way, I don't want to marry nobody, a, a prince. But, and ended up having, that's where I ended up stopping. And Dylan went back to his rental uh, apartments or where, you know, wherever he was renting. And he went back there and he was just so upset that he was like just fuming over his father of wondering why didn't his father tell him about an estate that his grandfather had left him. And he wouldn't have been going through all this craziness. But his father did keep that information from him. The one that the one that ended up telling him about this inheritance or, or this um, family plot. Uh, that that he had inherited was his brother Michael. So now I think what he's go what I'm thinking he's gonna go and investigate the land and see what it has you know what he can do with it or you know I don't know. But at the same time, Natalia was up in her room and she was like you know I should have known better than to fall and you know try to fall in love with somebody like that and. You know, I don't know what I was thinking, but at the same time, she was thinking, like, I can never, you know, really, after what I went through, Dylan, I don't know if I can ever love anybody or feel what I felt with Dylan with anybody else. So she was, like, reminiscing on, you know, how he held her, how he touched her, you know, emotionally and physically. So she was thinking on those terms, and she was like, she didn't know whether she was coming or going at this point. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. They all seem um, to be like going in all different directions. 
Michael is pissed because now he feels like he has to marry somebody else. Natalia doesn't want to marry that prince. And Dylan is off to look at a land that his, evidently his grandfather left and he doesn't know anything about it. So, nah, it's, it's a whole, like, what's going to happen? Who Who's going to be with who? And, you know, so it's, um, yeah, it's a mess. So I see it. It's a big mess. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, um, one week at a time, one week, I'll, let, I'll give you an update, and I'll, I'll start writing down the dates. One week, I'll do um, gambling for the Duke's daughter, and then the other week, I'll do unhappily, unhappily in love. This way... I won't get confused <laughs> with the both <laughs> books. <laughs> Cause that that was that was really driving me nuts. Anyway, we are drinking. What are we drinking today? We are drinking. Um, and these I got from Dollar Tree. There was all these little like boxes. All, I think it was like six boxes all together. They're so cute. And um I feel like getting a magnifying glass. My god, these words are so small. It's um, a tropical vacation, a mother needs a moment. And this is a pineapple twist green tea. So it's supposed to have a pineapple taste to it. So let's find out. Let's find out if it has a pineapple twist. It looks yellow. <laughs> let's find out. Okay. I know I don't taste anything. <laughs> hey, but it looks yellow. <laughs> I don't know. It just to me it just tastes like regular tea. Yeah. I don't know where the pineapple comes in. Now, don't taste no pineapple. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I'd give it a go. And I made these tiny little little crackers for myself. Because I'm not really, really into sweets. So I realized that me and my granddaughter have the almost like the same uh, taste. So she was like... I really had a big boy, mm, a big breakfast. Almost got stuck in my throat. <laughs> and um, I said, "Let me, let me just eat something uh, really light." So I thought about crackers. These are. Vegetable vegetable crackers from um, Aldi's. They taste really good, like vegetable garden. I cracked one earlier, so I thought I'd just take it apart. And I just added cream cheese and strawberry preserves. And she, my uh, grandson was telling me, you're you're just like grandma. She likes strawberry preserves too. And I go, really? Why? Michaela does? She goes, yeah, Michaela doesn't like grapes. She likes strawberry. Mm. And it is good. Like I have to remember. It's almost the same as eating it uh, eating it on a bagel. You know how you do um the cream cheese on a bagel and then you add whatever jam or whatever or cream on a bagel. This is almost the same thing. I can eat these all day. They're light. They're crunchy. Like I really I really could. I really could. I 
I really wish the tea was better, you know, but, um, I mean, it's okay, but I really would have liked to have had a, 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 a hint of pineapple on there, but. No pineapple. Mmm. <laughs> and maybe what I'll do is maybe come in here with um maybe some um some how would I call it? some information about Emily Post. Um edit etiquette? Something um Emily Emily Post's etiquette. Maybe it could read a few of those as well. So yeah, really disappointed in this. <laughs> but uh, okay guys so that's it for me today so like a fish in the sea so glad you caught me don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see me continue um drinking terrible tea i'm just kidding um i'm gonna look into more teas and see if i can find some more flavorful ones and um and if you want to continue hearing the and and, uh, and the updates of the books that I'm reading. So, yes. So, uh, <laughs> until next time, uh, we will see you next week on Tea Time Tuesday. Bye, guys. Have a nice day.